Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another spooky reaction video. Uh, this time we're going to visit King Frostmare, a channel I haven't visited for a while now, to be honest. By the looks of it, this video might be a little bit different because it looks like it's going to be focusing around one case. Uh, the video is called Paranormal Activity After Finding a Dug Up Carpet in the Yard. Um, the full Katie Santry story. So I'm assuming it's based around the one case. So we'll give it a watch, see what it's all about. Hopefully it'll be intriguing and spooky. If you wouldn't mind popping by King Frostman's channel, um, the link is in the description. Drop them a sub and show them some support. Be very grateful for that. Uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on my video, sub into my channel if you haven't already done so. Ringing the bell for alerts. And if you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, please leave feedback in the comments. Or if you ring the bell, you'll get alerts for if I go live and you can come by and have a chat in the live streams. They will be returning very soon. I'm just trying, still trying to balance things in the house with and work and things with regards to finding the right times to do that. But we'll sort some of it out and we will be back live. Um, looking forward to doing so. In the meantime, let's get the cans on, give this a watch and let's hope it's a good one. Let's hope there's some spooky stuff in here, shall we? We now turn our attention to the unsettling case of Katie Santry, a homeowner who found herself in the midst of a deeply disturbing situation after moving into her new residence. The catalyst of this series of events was the discovery of a rolled-up carpet in her backyard, a mysterious find that would soon herald a string of inexplicable occurrences. What makes Sentry's case particularly intriguing is its multifaceted nature. While the initial discovery raises obvious questions from a criminal investigation standpoint, subsequent events suggest that there might be more to this case than meets the eye. Let's take Right, so by the looks of which has created a hole in her garden. Obviously, I don't know if she was doing some planting or something and found a rolled up carpet. Um, interesting to see where this takes us. I know personally I have buried animals in the past, that pets that have passed away. And I think one of them was actually rolled up in a a towel or, or its blanket at the time, a rabbit. I think it might have had a bit of a blanket or something. Um, so it may just be a pet, but I'm assuming it's not, by the way. It's been an ongoing saga. Looks like it's a TikTok account. Take that with a pinch of salt and we'll carry on and see how we go. Um, it's Katie Santry. I'm assuming that's the channel on TikTok if you want to go and check this out as well. Take a look at her video diary in which she started documenting this case. I'll move it. How is he that? Is the door shut? Yeah. How deep is that? Like at least two feet? Almost, yeah. Oh, well, right now. I bet you would. I think my house is haunted and I'm freaking out. Like, I'm literally shaking. This is my sunroom. This is where I work. I sit here every day. There's a playroom here, doors here. This is the space. Not a bad little setup to be there. I'd like some more Everything was fine. Shut my laptop. We close these doors so the dogs don't come in here at night. No one is in this room. I'm down this morning to work. Screen shattered. This stuff down here. This hanging off for me is that this that only goes on this shelf and only goes on this shelf ever up here why i've never put it there i don't put it here my phone sits there when i work i why was that there here's the next bit of important information so we're building okay so a few bits have moved around why the little tub things moved up a shelf as opposed to falling off i don't know defense and back here we dug a hole there is a rolled up carpet buried underground that we came across as we were digging this hole. Rolled up carpet. Who the and why the f is there a rolled up carpet underground? A very good question. While some people speculated that it probably is just a pet that might have been buried by the previous owner after its passing, Katie updated us soon after this upload with the recent turn of events. Okay, so a tree was planted above the rug yeah, and it is called a blood good because this was in the hole. They planted a blood good tree on top of a frog. <laughs> Why? Something that also feels important as a detail to let you know that I found to be so weird in this whole fiasco of did a ghost 
up last night? This morning, my stepson, <clears throat> I heard him call his dad in and say, hey, like, this is so weird. When I went to bed, my phone was at 100% on the charger and he woke up and it was at 3%. And now I have all these people saying that like ghosts steal energy and that's like how they And what are the odds that the same night that his phone just randomly goes from 100 to, to 3% is the same night my computer gets broken and stuff gets moved around all while digging up a potential dead body in my backyard. I, like, I don't know what to do. At this point, the idea of a dead family animal in the yard went out of the window for many people, and a lot of her viewers started to really get invested in this case. The day later, the following was posted. So, it is quite intriguing, this, to be fair. I mean, obviously, we're still in the very early stages of what's happening. Um, I did bring up the pet situation, and that seemed to have been brought up by other people as well. Um... They seem to be jumping to a lot of conclusions up to now, but we'll we'll see how things pan out. I accidentally went viral for thinking my house is haunted and I left you all on a cliffhanger and I'm very sorry. Hi, my name's Katie and this room right here, I think a ghost is angry at me because I went to bed and everything was fine. I come down the next morning, my desk is a disaster and my computer shattered. Um, first theory is that maybe someone tried to break in. No, our alarm was set. That did not happen. Second theory is that the uh, the carpet that happens to be two and a half feet underground, um, potentially holds a dead body. And you know, that's kind of where I'm sitting because I can't get it out. The carpet is too big and too long. And yeah, it's just stuck there and it's gonna stay there because we can't get it. It's, I need an excavator. Um, and it's digging into my fire pit, my stone fire pit. And I really like that area. And that's where we'd have to pretty much go to try to keep getting this rug out. And I'm not gonna do it. So we are just gonna pew, 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 pack that dirt right back down and hope that 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 little ghost isn't mad at me anymore and leaves my computer alone once I get it back from Apple. And yeah, let's it be, so. Okay, I finally did it. I called the police. They are sending someone here. I called and I said, hey, I don't know if this matters, but there is a rug buried underground at my house, a few feet under, and a few people I know, you guys, and actually two police officers who I know who are not actually in this county, but other counties have suggested I call you. And she told me she's gonna send a police officer over here. So TBD, I don't know what happens next. Turns out that after receiving a lot of concerned messages on her profile and some advice from friends who were police officers, KT had to take this case a bit more serious than she had initially anticipated. So, as she promised, she called the police over to check out the creepy find in her backyard. Is there any sort of connection with Bloodgood trees? Like, in general? I've never heard of them, to be honest. There might be something I want to look up and see what's what it's all about. See if there's any sort of connection with the paranormal or pretty much immune to disease. Nothing really mentions paranormal or links to anything like that. Oh, man. Yeah, I see that it's like a tassel on it. It's yeah. like the end of the... Geez, I don't even know. Carpet. Oh. I was just saying it's not, you know, it's six feet long. Oh, sorry. oh yeah, no, there's just something like weird. <sighs> okay, so yeah, this, yeah, first, evolved. the cops also think it's weird as, and they were like talking about calling homicide. They were talking about how they'd have to get excavators out here. Like they were fully invested just as much as we all are. And then he was like, okay, let me call my boss man and we will figure out what to do. And I was like, oh my God, they're gonna call homicide. This is like, it's like gonna be my own episode of true crime. R.I.P. <clears throat> Truly, R.I.P. But holy sh would that not be kind of cool? Anyways, basically what was decided is that they cannot put resources into something that they don't know what it is. And it is up to me if I decide that I want to finish digging it out. And if there's something there, I can call them. <sighs> and I'm sorry to leave it there, but that's gonna be that guys, because I cannot keep digging this if someone has tools and shovels and wants to come to my house in Columbus, feel free to help. Otherwise, mystery remains. But of course, Katie and her family were way too curious to leave it at that. And her invested audience also didn't exactly help to let this case rest in peace, so to speak. We need the excavator out here to get that. 
most likely. Potentially. Yeah. You guys all keep telling me just to like go dig it out. It's not that easy, okay? It is so deep. Let me show you again. For everyone saying it's burlap, it's but. I mean, I think it goes back that way. Also, to everyone who's really sad about us cutting down this tree, same. The cop also pointed out how expensive the tree is and that we destroyed it. I know it's not been a good day. Her theory is that they're gonna go home, get back to the office, and start looking up cold cases. And maybe there was something in the vicinity, and they'll come knocking, and they'll be like, actually, we've decided we want to dig that up. This was this was his idea. He came up with this one, and I think it's I think it could stick. We're back. And we're digging. Mm. You guys weren't ready for us to be done. You refuse to let it sleep. I have so many volunteers saying that they'll come and help us because, I mean, I may end up taking you up on that offer depending on how this goes since the police did uh, say this may require an excavator and we don't have an excavator. Don't hate me because this is not going to get done tonight. It is not going to get done tonight but we are starting the process. If this does happen to require volunteers, I expect all of you to show up and show out. And I saw a lot of people say that maybe they should have like sent a cadaver dog over here. And I think that would have been a great idea. <laughs> okay, look at that. We're one step closer. I know that pained the heart of you Japanese maple tree lovers, but we're gonna get another one implanted, don't worry. That didn't put in the dent that we were hoping it would, so <laughs> we really may need more resources. So, this night they finally were able to remove the little maple tree, which should make work way easier for them to prepare for uncovering what's inside this old rock, right? Do not pay somebody to build you a Shopify store, because I'm gonna do it free with 20 handpicked products by I suppose the tree was like dead on top of it, so the, I guess they would have had to remove it. But it's a bit harsh, really. Good <laughs> morning. I love the nice little tree, to be fair. Who are invested. So, <laughs> I did not anticipate this to pop off the way that it did. Honestly, the timing kind of sucks because I'm going out of town for work today, but holy. Update number one, I do have people volunteering to potentially bring an excavator of some, some sort. But here is where I'm thinking I might need more of a psychic than an excavator. While the police were here yesterday, looking at the carpet and deciding what to do, he mentioned that he was the one who came when the next door neighbor died. My neighbor died in their house and she can't haunt a house that is literally destroyed, right? Like she gonna haunt that's no fun that would be boring why not haunt the next door neighbor the same day the same day that my computer gets broken and my desk gets strewn about they started boarding up the dead lady's house it feels sus it feels like hey if they're gonna board up my house i'm just gonna hop over to the next house and haunt them their day up and they also just started digging up a rug so like this will be so fun if i i sort of heard bits around that kind of thing happening but I think the likely was quite slim, to be honest. I was a ghost, and I was a dead lady who had no family because the cop told me she also had no family, so she has no one better to haunt. If I was her, I would haunt me. That would be fun. Is it the neighbor? Is it my dead neighbor that died the day I moved into this house, mind you? Dead neighbor dies the day I move into this house. The day they're boarding up her house, my computer gets shattered. And she has no family. She has no one better to haunt. While it might be a plausible story that ghosts can't haunt a house that doesn't exist anymore, many stories and legends tell us otherwise. I also believe that ghosts and spirits can stay bound to a space in time, not to a building. But who exactly knows for sure? Now to her next update. So here's what I know. I think we're getting towards the point of clutching at straws with that one, mate, but we'll persevere. Let's see how it goes. Need. I need people in or around Columbus, Ohio to help me find a cadaver dog and or ground penetration radar because I have decided I cannot financially, mentally, or physically handle the responsibility of digging up a potentially six foot long rug that is two and a half feet down in my ground. I am, however, ready and prepared to take on the task if 
there is potentially a dead body and I get to be in a living episode of true crime. But we need, we need some more information. I have also been contacted by a psychic who we are going to have a nice little reading on Wednesday and see if maybe that gives us some answers. But you know, that's not concrete. It's great. It's not concrete. So I decided to do some virtual digging before we dug up my yard anymore and here's what I found. My house was built in 1967 and from all the research I have done on the Franklin County Auditor site, before me, only one family has owned this home. So then obviously, I looked into the family and they seem very nice, very normal. The house doesn't seem to have ever been used as a rental. I talked to the next door neighbor who also agreed that the family was very kind, very normal. I've looked into the cadaver dog option and from everything I've seen, the police have to order it. I have reached out to four different cadaver canine units in Columbus, Ohio, and they have all said that they cannot deploy dogs unless ordered by the police. We had the police come. They came, they saw, they didn't give a when they gave a ring-a-ling ding to the chief officer, he said, we are not deploying any resources. So here we land. There is a rug underground, but we don't know why. And honestly, we might never know why because I've already destroyed a tree that's apparently worth a thousand dollars and I just can't do any more damage to my home without just cause. The only thing I can commit to is leaving it be. If someone comes to me with a canine dog, Sure, if someone comes to me with ground penetrating radar, come on over. Or if this psychic tomorrow tells me that the person who broke my laptop is buried in the ground, then maybe the case may be coming to a close. I found the listing agent online. I called her. I said, hi, my name's Katie. I have a very strange thing to tell you. <laughs> and I told her and I said, do you have TikTok? And so here's, what we're, here's what's happening. She happens to be Shameless plug. Best friends with the daughter of the family who owned the home. So either this daughter, who knows, could potentially, you know, be like, I don't know, there's not a body there. But we should have answers. I told her exactly what tree. I told her where the rug is. I told her what was happening. She is calling her as we speak. And she's going to let me know. I sent her the TikTok. She's like, what in the hell is going on? I don't know, lady. And she just said, a dog? But, but that deep and that long? We're all questioning it. Get the answers from the daughter. We should know soon. At this point, it was a bit unclear in what direction the case would move from here on out. After talking to the daughter of the previous owners, Katie was hoping for some clarity regarding this case. So after the realtor was talking to the owner's daughter, the following is what came out of it. Has anything else paranormal happened yet? Because I don't think it has, has it? Just literally that first incident with the um, laptop thing getting broken, the things moving. She hasn't reported anything else. Realtor has talked to the daughter. The daughter does not know what the rug is. She also asked her about dead dogs and cats and hamsters. And she said they had many dogs and they were all cremated. So she does not think there is a buried dog. So what is going to happen next? She is going to drive her to the nursing home where her 90 and 95 year old mother and father live and berate them for, for the answers for us. She is going to see what they know and if they know what is in the rug and why the rug is there. I think the real estate agent <laughs> that I was talking to is also highly invested at this point. But at the end of the day, the daughter's got a job to do. And so she can't go to the nursing home until tonight. Guys, I went from hard labor to hard liquor because I will now be the cheerleader for the dig brought to you by HDL Construction in Hilliard, Ohio. Obviously, we will stream this live and then there will be a final reveal video posted. And so tune in if your heart desires 430 EST. That is when the crew will be here. That is when we will start digging. I was actually just out at the hole because People Magazine needed some pictures. And like, I truly can't tell which direction it goes. I'm so curious. I'm it is a bit unclear. Magazines and stuff, a freaking hole in the ground what had happened in between this and the last video update as I could not find any other video on what had led to the now decided excavation of the rug. But apparently a company was ordered to finally start with the digging in their backyard. This probably someone out for free advertisement on a TikTok. Update was from yesterday and Katie's plans were to stream the excavation live. The same day Katie also heard back from the homicide department. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I just got off the phone with Homicide. They just called me. They are sending detectives and 
cadaver dogs here in the next hour. Oh my God. I saw my phone ringing and it said Columbus police. I said, hmm, this is weird. I answered the phone. He says, hi, this is detective corn nuts. I don't know what his name was. I forgot. I started to black out. We heard about your situation and I don't know why the police, I don't know who they called, but they did not call homicide because we want to come. We want to take a, a look at this rug. He said, if, if the dogs do note something, it, your house is about to become a fiasco. And I said, I would assume such. Um, so yeah, within the next hour, homicide detectives and cadaver dogs are going to be here in my backyard. And he said, as long as they do not note to human remains, then we can proceed with the dig at 4.30 p.m. EST. Oh my God. And as promised, shortly after, the detectives actually show up at their house. The detectives are here, they've arrived. Some of them are in suits. Suits, they've got bags, backpacks, equipment. They're here, they're here. Okay, I am so sorry to have left you hanging all day, all night, but um, my whole house is now caution taped off. If you were not watching the live, both dogs sat on the hole so that the dogs run separately. Um, so the first dog came out and the dog sat and audible gasp. Absolute fuck. I thought that this was the end of everything today and the second dog comes out, sniffs around and sat. I will like splice a video together but I still have reporters at my house um, cops are staying here overnight crime scene investigators come tomorrow and start to dig and that's that's like that's all I know right now essentially um. okay so I'm sitting outside with my friends who were actually the ones that were here for the dig party and trying to like decompress from everything that's happened my anxiety is so high and um, I cried on TikTok Live with 100,000 people. And I'm going... 100,000 people, man. Fucking hell. To insert here the video of the dogs marking. Um, it was already on live, and that's why I'm basically going to share everything that is already out there in the world. So that is the dog. They are hitting, clever, like. Both dogs hitting on the hole. And basically from there, everything went to. I was terrified, losing my mind. I started to cry. I asked the, the cops if I need a lawyer. They are very aware that I'm the one who called, and they have no concerns that it was me. So if there's anyone sitting here thinking, I did this, I certainly did not. They said that there's still a chance that this rug it just could have blood on it. It doesn't necessarily mean there is a body in my backyard. This could be someone got a bloody nose. Um, it could be anything. Now, obviously, Katie was extremely freaked out at this point and told us that her anxiety was through the roof. She had shared the event live on her TikTok and hundreds of thousands of people became witness to the dogs clearly signaling that there might be some kind of organic material in the ground. Shaken to the core, Katie uploaded the moments that unfolded right after the live stream had ended. And when she was talking to her neighbor. Whatever she's gonna say, I hung up because I don't want to hear the police need a lawyer when the dog's alerted. So I'm talking to, there's 121.4 thousand people that just watched two dogs both sit on the rug. Um, this is insane. 
This is crazy. Okay. It might not mean anything yet. Okay. Yeah, but what you wish for and all that, eh? Wait and see what the interpretation of the results are. Okay. I understand that it looks like you're, you're up to I can see you're pretty uh, excited over this, but we just got to say... Terrified oh, or... I don't... Until we know what they're saying. Okay. Because like this is so crazy because wow there's like two huge things happening simultaneously that are also related but unrelated there's still police surrounding my house and potential of digging up something that is going to change a lot of people's lives and that's overwhelming so um I'm still hopeful, and the police that I talked to yesterday said that there's a good chance that it's not a body, which just sounds absurd to say because when I started all of this, it was a joke, a joke. of like, who broke my, my computer? It must be the body in the rug. If this hadn't all happened, none of this would happen. So I again have to say, if something comes of this today and someone is found that is solely because clearly nobody suspected that the search would actually reveal that something was off with this rock what started as a fun little ghost story now even got the local media involved today came i think it was after the press and stuff anyhow with the magazine interviews and stuff but yeah it, it's a strange one really like there was that little spark of paranormal which apparently was caused by a uh, creating this hole and finding the rug and disturbing whatever was there um which sparked that little little incident of a computer getting broken and a few things moving but nothing else has happened considering they've been disturbing the grave even more and it's been however long no real time skills given in you but i'm assuming it's been a a while with the police doing a bit of an investigation before they called her back and got involved and stuff like that. It's a bit of a a strange situation. You think there would have been more of the paranormal happening the more they disturbed the grave. Or that's sort of the assumption I would have, to be honest. But let's see if anything else does happen. Katie updated us with some more police activity that was unfolding just a bit earlier and they were just about to start the excavation. Okay, so everybody's here. There's a tent set up and there's nine police officers and CSI in the backyard. They, I'll show you, they've blocked how far I'm allowed to even go and they're bringing equipment in now. So they put this up outside so that I cannot get any further. Um, they've got a tent and a bunch of people bringing in a bunch of stuff. Obviously taking them very serious considering. Okay, they're digging. They've been digging. And there's six of them. Some of them are in the hole. My Windex. I had to clean my window so I could watch. Um, and we still don't know anything. The dogs could have had a bad day, had it had an off scent, the wind, the rain, who knows? They told me that all the rain that Ohio's had from um, can can like reinvigorate smells. So that was and now this girl's famous for nothing, um, and that the dogs are just they were confused. They were. Um, tired. It was 5.30. They had a long work day. And they were confused. We need to make a decision. What does the data say? I'm not... Uh, uh... Why not use money to... The crew started to... That's a bit unlikely. ...to dig, and the whole process apparently took several hours. Katie was a bit unnerved as the crew suddenly aborted the digging, and she was... Con she was good at excavator eventually, anyhow concerned that something was really wrong. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry that this is delayed, but I don't know what's going on, but they did just stop digging. There's 15 of them, and they're just kind of all standing around like, I don't know if they're thinking about next steps. I don't know if, well, I don't know what's happening. 
well, they're they're all discovered just kind of what's standing around. around. That's where we're at. They're just kind of looking in the hole, and they've paused. But the amount of dirt and digging that has happened. One guy's on the phone. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I, that's what I know. And here's what it looks like from my perspective. And you know, have you not got an upstairs where you can get a better perspective? They're coming out from the back. The neighbors of you over the moon where all this going on. As of the making of this video, this was the last update on Katie's profile. But as luck would have it, an hour later I stumbled over the tail end of another live stream in which apparently the police told her that it might have been a false alarm and that the dogs might have been confused that day. But how do we explain the paranormal events in her home? We will keep our eyes open and see if the visit of the medium will bring more needed answers to this case. How spooky. And just as I was finishing up the video, she posted another update after the live stream had ended. And this has been the most absurd, insane experience of my life. What did they find? No, they didn't find a body. They found a mother effing rug with some rubber. The question remains of why did the dogs hit? I don't know. Both dogs, not just one, two. I don't know. The other question remains is who broke my laptop? There's people across the street. I don't know. I don't know. This was, I'm so confused. There's no body. There's no body. Honestly, do I need, do I need a, a psychic to come to my house? I don't know. I think it's pretty certain to say that we will stay tuned concerning any paranormal relevations. <coughs> right. That's not what I was expecting to be fair. I was hoping for something a bit more creepy than that. Let us know what you guys think. Just hit us up in the comments. It might have just been an earth tremor or something. I don't know. Seems odd that she seems to claim the pot had moved from the bottom shelf to the top shelf, but other than that, everything else could have just been part of a an earth movement. Was intriguing with the link to her uncovering the rug thing at the beginning, but it all pretty much come to nothing in the end, didn't it? Well, I'll keep an eye on it and see if anything more is said over the course, but it sounds like she was just out for a, a few subs and a... Five minutes of fame, but we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, let us know what you guys think. As I said, please pop by King Frostman's channel. Drop him a sub if you wouldn't mind doing so. He does do a lot of other proper creepy stuff, to be honest. Um, well worth a watch, some of his videos. I will be dropping back in his channel every now and then, uh, along with the other guys that I cover. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers for watching, guys. Ciao for now.